Hi, in this video I want to show you how to spin with a top whirl spindle. Now a top whirl spindle has the whirl and the hook on the same side of the shaft. These are more popular than bottom whirl spindles. You don't need a leader to spin with a top whirl spindle. So let's get started by taking the roving and you're going to pull out just a small strip of it to get started. This may be a little thick side. I'm going to split it again. This, by the way, is a combed top. It's the best thing to learn on because it's very easy to draft, and drafting is the hardest part. So now that you have your strip, we're going to pre-draft it to set it up. And the way you do this is you simply pull on the fibers to separate them and to thin the roving. Now, an important thing to remember is to keep your hands at least one staple length apart so that you're not pulling on opposite ends of the same fiber. You're just going to pull them apart. You want it to be just a little bit thicker than half the thickness of your finished yarn. Your single is going to be about half the thickness of your finished yarn. And your pre-drafting is going to be just a little thicker than that. When we're done with this, we distaff it. And that just means we wrap it around our wrist. Very simple. To get started, you simply wrap the end tip of the fiber, fold it around the hook, and then just give it a little twist with your thumb and forefinger to put a little twist in there to hold it together. So now let's start looking at how we spin. Twisting the spindle, we're going to do park and draft first, means just grabbing it with your thumb and forefinger and twisting on it, just like you'd spin a top. When you've built up a lot of spin, you're going to park it. I'm just going to hold it in my hand for the moment. It's very important to control when the twist enters a fiber supply. So you're going to always pinch it off until you're ready to let it in. So you're going to hold it, you're going to pull to draft, release. Now you're holding the twist with this hand. Again, you're going to pinch, pull, release. And this is a park and draft method because you're building up the twist, parking the spindle, and drafting. Once you're comfortable with that, you're going to want to just going to regular drop spindle spinning. So what you do is you twist the spindle and you go doing that drafting. Pinch, pull, pinch, release. Pinch, pull, pinch, release. When the spindle slows down, you grab it, you twist it some more. Pinch, pull, pinch, release. When you have gotten enough fiber and you want to wind it onto your spindle, what you're going to do you're going to wrap it around your hand, you're going to take it off of the hook, you're going to wrap it right under the whirl. And then, most spindles have a notch like this, you're going to pull the yarn through the notch, and you're going to hook it, a little half hitch knot there, onto the hook. and then you're ready to spin again. So twist, pinch, pull, release, pinch, pull, release, pinch, pull, release. I'm going to show you how to apply this in a later video.